what I did with this one is I cut out the main roof sections here and that's going to be a different color and basically just put on layers. First basic outline in a red, uh, well your typical reddish brown color of a barn. And then the roof lines. Um, so and then after that I think I should be able to just uh, detail um, some of this other stuff. Paint the dome silver using um, uh, just a paintbrush. I might cut this out and do this a different shade. That might be easier to do um, uh, with the airbrush. Kind of create a different shade for that and stencil that in. So uh, that's kind of the game plan. Let's uh, see how my theories work. <coughs> All right. Well, we've got the stencil cut out. Got uh, adequate blast shielding around it to prevent uh, collateral damage. Uh, now let's. Uh, Go ahead and set phasers on slaughter and go for it. So I, I found, uh, came up with an idea of just using this little stick to hold this down so I don't get my hands all gummed up with the paint. So just kind of go around it and hold it like that, hold the stencil down. So let's go. Oops, let's go down here. I may need to give this a second coat. May need to go for two coats on this. So have this thinned down quite a bit. So um, let's let this let's let this thing dry, and uh, I'll give it another shot, and we'll see what happens. So so far it's looking okay. It's just that these mountains are still showing through in the back. So, but I think another coat will take care of that. So I'll just leave things as is. Eh. Barn came out kind of so-so. Had some problems with uh, <coughs> being able to hold a stencil down against the uh, backdrop tight enough to keep uh, spray from drifting underneath. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking if I put double stick tape on the back of my stencil that might have held it down bad, better and I think there's some special uh, stenciling paper you can buy for doing this so I may need to check in that when I'm actually uh, doing my backdrop but this kind of gives you an idea what you can do um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plow ahead and uh, finish this out roughly alright I've got this other <laughs> stencil here I'm just gonna go ahead and stencil in the roof uh, as best as I can and uh, just roughly finish this out. I got some dark brown paint for the roof, so. Paint this in. Looks. Here, kind of get the idea. Got the roof painted in like that, and uh, I'll probably use the brush to um, 
put some windows in there and do some other highlighting. So, I mean, this is the, I'll probably you know, paint the dome silver and stuff like that. And there was some kind of uh, tube or ductwork going along the side there. I'll paint that a different color. And, uh, like I said, this just kind of gives you an idea of uh, some things you can do. So, those are the rough lines there. Anyway. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint in the end of the barn there, make it a little lighter color. Um, indicate that the sun's shining on it. for the haloing problem, this probably wouldn't look that bad. Get a little touch-ups there and things like that. Get the silver domes on there. Like I say, I'm not uh, looking for complete <coughs> perfect rendering here, but you kind of get the idea. Let's uh, pull this back and put this in context with uh, the rest of what's going on here. And you can see it, uh, you know, it fits in nicely um, with the rest of the scenery. We've got the, you know, the vantage point is you standing at ground level, looking across this field, and I can paint in a little short, some uh, wheat in there. Basically, uh, take a hand brush and just uh, paint in tiny little lines of kind of a golden, light tan color around there to uh, get this stuff uh, yeah to get this backdrop scene done at least this test scene done so I'll probably go ahead and mess around with that and show you uh, the finished um, product product uh, the finished uh, test scene as you see here but this should uh, give you an idea um, if you're thinking about getting into airbrushing what you can do with airbrushing <coughs> what you can do for backdrops and give you some um, food for thought of what to do and what not to do I've certainly learned a lot from this uh, experience and uh, I mean I'm pleased with how um, the effects I was able to get with the clouds with the hills and the mountains and stuff like that. Uh, with structures and stenciling, I'm kind of like, it needs a little work. <laughs> so, but uh, anyway, I hope uh, this inspires you to roll your own backdrop um, with an airbrush. So it's it's actually a lot of fun. In spite of some of the mishaps, it's, it's just a lot of fun. And it looks, uh, you know, on the balance, it looks fairly decent. So, anyway, uh, let me wait for this to dry, and then I'll do a little more detailing, and then I'll uh, give you a little final shot there of the barn and maybe the wheat uh, growing up along the front of it. So, uh, anyway, I'll be back. All right. <laughs> Added a few minor details, some silver to the dome, and uh, a door there, and some windows, which they're probably a little bit too... Ooh, a little bit too aggressive. Man, my freehand painting sucks, but you kind of get the idea. Um, if this stupid thing hadn't haloed... Uh, well, actually, if I had set it up right so it wouldn't halo, <coughs> it would actually look fairly passable, but um, I might have added some of the details in. And obviously, I can add some shingles in by... Uh, painting in, you know, maybe thin black lines up at the top and um, add a few more shadows and uh, uh, and uh, some board lines going up and down there for the silos. Actually, I probably could have painted these a little different color, a different lighter shade than the roof because those were shaded a little bit different on the picture, but uh, you kind of get the idea. So, uh, <coughs> uh, if you try this, do better than I did. But, uh, you know, 
if you don't look too close, it looks okay. So, if it doesn't quite uh, turn out right, just tell everybody, you know, it looks best when you're about four or five feet away. And uh, everybody will go, ooh. <laughs> so, uh, that's it for this part of the series. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned a few things. I've learned some. And uh, I hope to see you do some spray painting, or at least hear about you doing more spray painting or giving it a shot. So, that's it. Uh, next up, I'll be uh, <coughs> probably repainting the walls um, for my actual backdrop because they've gotten all smudged and dirty and dinged up. Probably patch them up and repaint them, and then I'll actually put a backdrop on um, when I figure out how I'm going to do a barn and uh, probably figure a better strategy for doing that uh, to improve and get rid of the haloing uh, problem there but uh, that's what I'll be doing next and I won't be doing it in real time I'll be uh, doing it in fast forward so uh, this is uh, yeah that's where the backdrop's gonna go so that is next on the agenda so Ta-ta for now.